This is a planet, one of several planets in our solar system and the only one we know of that currently hosts life as crazy as you and I. This is an iron rock. It isn't from Earth and instead it traveled millions and millions of miles through space and crash landed on Earth over half a millennia back. Believe it or not, the two are actually completely related. And how a space rock relates to Mother Earth, well, that's a destructive tale that hopefully is gonna blow your mind. Hey, it's Jay, this is Plasma Channel. Now, usually I'm talking about high voltage physics, but this is something that I think is really cool. This is an iron meteorite. Specifically, this is just a fragment of the Nantan meteorite. It fell in China in the year 1516, and about 21,000 pounds worth of fragments have been discovered so far. It's also the oldest meteorite fall that was seen and recorded. As if having a piece of recorded meteorite history isn't rare enough, only 10% of meteorites that fall to Earth are of the iron variety in the first place. The other 90% are considered stone. But why two main types, right? Why aren't they all made of iron or all made of rock? This is where it gets really cool. Considering the Earth's core is made of liquid iron and its crust is primarily made of rock and some solidified metals mixed in, that should give you a clue as to why there's two main types and also how a meteorite is related to a planet. At the beginning of our solar system, there was a disk, similar to Saturn's rings, that surrounded the Sun. From this accretion disk, the planets formed. The gravity from these protoplanets collected and condensed various elements into one spot, and due to the differences in density, this caused elements such as iron and nickel to become the center of many of our planets. Otherwise, chunks of iron weren't just floating around in space. Fast forward to modern day, and now we've got an asteroid belt. Asteroids are primarily composed of stone and metal, so... That should pique your interest. Why are there chunks of planetary material floating around in an orbiting ring? Hmm. Well, to put it simply, the asteroid belt is composed of destroyed and collided planets. This has always been the speculation, but recently, a study in Nature Astronomy found that 85% of the 200,000 asteroids in the inner asteroid belt originate from five or six ancient minor planets. The science is starting to catch up with the predictions. And here's where it comes full circle. The majority of our meteorites, whether they're iron or stone or a class in the middle, there's a couple of middle classes, the majority of them can be traced back to one single spot in our solar system. That's the asteroid belt. So this 370 gram Nantan meteorite that I'm holding may have been the core of an ancient planet. This 47 gram Sikhote Allen meteorite might also have been the core of an ancient planet. And as for this African stony meteorite, it was once the crust of a protoplanet as well. Wicked cool. Of course, there's a chance this wasn't a part of a protoplanet, but was just leftover material from the formation of our solar system that wasn't quite big enough to form a planet. But regardless, I think it's kind of a romantic notion, right? Little chunk of planet just floating around in space all lonely by itself, and all it wants to do is just snuggle up next to a bigger planet. And what does it do when it finally finds that planet? it smashes into it. Now, if you're a bunch of civilized lizards in the middle of your afternoon tea, you get caught in the crossfire. Stupid lizards. Well, I had a lot of fun filming this video. Hopefully you learned something new and have a new appreciation for meteorites. Let me know your thoughts down below. What was the most mind-blowing part of this for you? And also, I could use your suggestions on what to name this guy. He's been kind of lurking in the background in a bunch of my videos, kind of like a church house creeper. Also, a massive shout out to all the people who choose to support my work through Patreon because you make a huge difference. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. I post to other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.